Welcome back to Community Cat News. I'm Fiona Fluffyface. Station management sent word down that to boost ratings, we're not doing news this week. Instead, we'll be hosting Neighborhoods Got Talent. Ten years I've been a journalist, and I never thought I would see the day we would sink this low. You'll have to excuse my co-host. His human put him on a diet, and he's a little crabby. It's been 28 minutes since my last meal. Journalism is dead, and I'm afraid I will be next. This may be my final show. Pull it together, Tom. And what an exciting show we have for our listeners today. Let's bring in our first contestant. Hey, 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 it's great to be here, you furry faces. All right, all right. Can you state your name and species for our listeners at home? Name's Jim Harry. I'm a raccoon, and I'm here to do some comedy for you. Because ever since I was little, people would say, Jim, you smell funny. Or is it that you look funny? Uh, either way. All right, come on. All right, let's go. Uh, but first, I gotta ask, what is with the parking situation outside? Can't find a spot anywhere. I just saw a frog leave his car right in front of a fire hydrant, and I said, Hey, hey, buddy, you, you're going to get towed. Towed. Oh, uh, hey, uh, by the way, uh, anyone here flown lately? Uh, this has been in the news lately. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? Boy, these airlines, so many rules these days, I tell you. I was bought in a plane behind this vulture. And uh, the flight attendant tells him, uh, Sir, you can't bring both of these dead rats on this plane. You are limited to one carry-on item. Carry-on. <laughs> you know, dead. Dead. <laughs> like, like this room, huh? <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay. Was that too smart for the room? All right, all right. Let me do something a little more for the, uh, you know, MTZ crowd. All right, a little simple and subtle. Okay, okay. You're going to love this one. You're going to love this one. Knock, knock. I've heard enough. No, no, wait, wait. This one's, this one's going to be good. It's going to be good, I promise. Thank you, Jim Harry. We'll be in touch. Wait, wait. What do you call a deer with no eyes? <laughs> call security? No, I dare. <laughs> Get out. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to make you laugh. Oh, a bit of a rough start to the day, but I'm sure it can't get any worse. Tom, stop chewing on the mic cord. I can't help it. I'm so hungry. Well, chew quieter. Hello? Is this where I audition? Oh, um, yes. How did you... I... I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I didn't know birds listened to our show. Oh, yes. I listen every morning. And you're going to... Sing. I'm a singer. Let me call you sweetheart. Tasty. I mean, lovely. Yeah, she's got a really nice voice. Let me hear you whisper. With just a dab of mustard, a bit of salt. Tom! Keep the love light glowing. Snap out of it, Tom! Okay, Bert, we're done. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. We'll be in touch. But I'm not done. Yes, you are. Out you go. Bye-bye now. Where is your professionalism, Tom? Locked in the cabinet with my kibble. Uh, who is it? Candace. Candace who? Candace door open? Or am I stuck out here? <laughs> oh, not him again. Go away, Jim Harry. Let's just go through one more contestant, and then I promise you I will pry open the kibble cabinet with my own claws. It's too late, Fiona. No one can save me now. I feel my soul slipping. 
from this mortal coil. Well, hey, y'all, is this where I audition? Oh, good. <laughs> we finally got a cat in here. Yes, come on in. What's the matter with your friend there? He's uh, looking a little peaked. Oh. His human put him on a diet. Oh, well, it's a good thing old cornbread showed up. The heavens done opened up, and the light came down in the form of cornbread. And that's my name, cornbread. You'll never guess how I got it. I make the best cornbread you have ever tasted. You make cornbread, you say? Yes, sir, I do. I make 37 different kinds of cornbread. I make cornbread so good it'll make you want to slap your mama, but I would not suggest you do that because I am wanted in several states because of the cornbread I make and the chaos that it ensues. But what I'm going to make for you today is brown butter skillet cornbread. You just take your cast iron skillet here, drop in your butter, and really let it sizzle. Just let it get in there. Swirl that butter around. Okay, take it to town. Wait till it turns brown. Then transfer it to a bowl, and that's how you get down. Then you add your maple syrup, your buttermilk, your cornmeal. You're going to want to whisk in the eggs and just a little bit of love, but not too much love because, you know, it, it's cornbread. It's not, it's not pound cake, okay? Can we skip to the part where we eat the cornbread? You're darn tootin' you can. I brought a whole finished batch with me just in case we ran out of time, but careful. If your mom is nearby, I cannot be held accountable. <laughs> Mm, this is amazing. I don't normally mm. go for carbs myself, but what the heck. We'll call it a cheat day. <laughs> Ow. Oh my, this is good. Does this mean I win the contest? Not only do you win, how would you like to be head of craft services for Community Cat News? Oh boy, would I ever. I'd call my mama, but as you know, there's a restraining order. You're hired. We'd like to thank Meow Meow, mm. uh, whatever, attorney at law, mm. sponsoring, uh, roll the thing. Mm. Can you see the bottom of your food bowl? Has your human started serving you food with labels like weight control or husky? Is your human cutting back on plates full of whipped cream? Is your human using words like chunky, full-figured, or fat to describe you? That's defamation, and it's a crime. I'm Meow Meow Puffy Tail, feline rights attorney, and I won't stop until you are back eating the food you love when you want to eat it, which may be every hour on the hour. Is your human making pay? 555-555-555. Just lay on the phone. He's your human making pay.